guys, I wanted to take a second and show you how you can use the Barry Bonds and Ruth data in your graphing calculator in order to display both of the box and whisker plots simultaneously and get the five number summary just by tracing. So what I've done, I've entered Barry Bonds home run totals into list one and Babe Ruth's home run totals into list two, the 16 for Bonds, the 15 for Ruth. So if you haven't done that already, you might wanna pause the video and do that and then play the video again and you can see the rest of what we're doing and follow along and try it yourself. So once the data are in, if you press second and Y equals, I wanna go into plot number one. You should turn on plot number one if it is not already on. Press the down arrow to go to type. Then you have to press the right and left arrows to cycle through to get to the type you want. The type that's right now flashing, that is the box and whisker plot with the two little dots to the right. That's the one that checks for outliers. The next one doesn't have the little dots to the right. It, it won't check for outliers. I would advise you to always select the one I just selected where we're checking for outliers. Our list is list one. You don't need to change anything else. So the next thing we should do then is turn on list two. If you press second Y equals, you can go down to list two and press enter to select it. I will turn it on. I'll press my down arrow and I will also select the same type, but I wanna simultaneously graph Babe Ruth's data as well. So if I press the down arrow, I'll press second two in order to change to list two. Now I need to set a good window. So, oops, see what I did? I didn't wanna be there. So if you end up in a menu where you don't wanna be, a good way to get out of it is to press second mode or second quit. Now I'll press the window button, get to the window where I want to be. I wanna set my window. So using a minimum of zero and a maximum of 80, that's perfectly acceptable here. There aren't any home run totals past 73 in these data. So the minimum and the maximum are all that really matter when you are setting your window for a box and whisker plot. Uh, the scale, the Y min, the Y max, none of that would really be important unless we were doing a histogram. So this is good enough now that if you press the graph button, you should be able to see the two box and whisker plots simultaneously, which is really convenient. Now, if you press the trace button, notice your cursor is plotting or tracing along the first plot. So at the bottom of the screen, then you can see the minimum is 16, just like, like we calculated in class. If you press the right arrow, you've got the Q1 value of 25, median at 34, Q3 is 41. Notice the end of the whisker is at 49 because we have the outlier that we determined at 73. So if you wanna trace the other box and whisker plot, just press the down arrow. So again, pressing the right and left arrows, we can get the five number summary off of the graph. The minimum is 22, Q1 is 35, the median is 46, Q3 is 54, and then for Babe Ruth, the maximum was 60. So this is really handy, not just for calculating the five number summary, but now we have both graphs visible simultaneously. So not only can we check for outliers, but this is a convenient graph to use in order to compare two distributions. We can compare their shapes, we can compare their centers, and can compare their spreads. This can be a really useful technique.